Hello, good evening and welcome to the organ at Hamwood Park. I'm going to uh, talk this evening about the Cornet stop. It's a very interesting French stop. And um, it, was, it came about because some Pope decided that double reed instruments such as the oboe were the work of the devil. And as a result, they were banned from organs. And so organ builders decided to synthesize this stop. And um, I've got it set up at the moment. And in the middle, it... Um, it sounds like an oboe, but you can hear down the bottom the way it actually is set up as a chord of harmonics. So it's actually set up with a flute, and I'm using an eight-foot flute here, and I'm using a four-foot flute up here, which is that one, and the corne stop here. So let's hear the corne. Uh, by itself. Oh, oh, oh. So that is, um, uh, in terms of interval, um, that is uh, um, um, taking that note. Um, it's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And it's those harmonics together with the four foot and the eight foot, which I can't actually press down. Oh, I can. I could put the camera on my shoulder. So it's actually that chord that's played whenever we play a cornet stop. And um, when you put this onto the pedals, it's quite interesting. Um, I like to set up a, the jeu de tierce on the pedals, and so that's a grand tierce with a 16 foot. So let's find a 16 foot. You might be able to hear the 16 foot there. So there's the 16 foot. There's a louder one. Um, and an 8 foot, an 8 foot a Nazard and a Tertius. So actually you hear these wonderful chords. This is a wonderful registration for a piece by de Grigny, which is um, this. It's a dialogue à te dai te comment et comment et de dessus de conne. And I don't know if I can play it with the camera of my neck, round my neck. However, here we go. Here we go. It's very, very beautiful. It would help to put the right stop on there. And then we got the cornet on the top. Well, we would do if we had it set up, so about that. And it's used really to contrast uh, the cromon with the cornet. Um, and the cromon will be on the uh, positive and the cornet will be on the Récit. So in the last section here. Um, So it's a very beautiful stop. Now, there are many people who um, use conventional hi-fi speakers for organs. And in actual fact, this stop, if one listens to it, is one of the reasons why uh, that demonstrates why hi-fi speakers aren't sounding the best. Um, here...
But of course we know how that's constructed. It's constructed of this chord. aren't working up here, which is very frustrating. I've got to take the top off the organ to get at one wire. So the cornet stop is a very, very interesting organ stop. Um, it is one that Hammonds uh, tried to emulate, or could possibly emulate, with their series of harmonics. Over here in the corner of the organ room at Hamwood Park, we have a 1937 Hammond. So this is 73 years old and it's still going off strong. We press the start button. One has to let it run up because it's all into electromechanical inside. And then when it's happy, we push the run switch. That takes the motor up to speed and we can turn the start off. And there's some preset stops here. It's the typewriter type. Um, it's completely covered in dust. I haven't turned it on for many years. It proves how reliable it is. Um, uh, the, it's not being sent through good speakers at the moment. There's an oboe, and there's the oboe. And why I've come over here is to demonstrate the uh, sounds are created by putting harmonics together and there are long books on Hammond registration um, so that you can dial up um, with numbers um, different registrations for different so-called instruments. Here we've got the 8 foot, 4 foot, 12th, 15th, tierce, Larigo and one foot. And the idea is that we put things together. Now I'm going to demonstrate the cornet stop on a French organ. We'll have some soft eight foot, a bit more four foot, and uh, we're going to have the twelfth two foot and yes. And so there we have something that sounds quite like an oboe. there to hold down a key whilst we experiment with this sound because there you can certainly hear there's the eight foot four foot nazard so you can hear that as a chord And there, one hears it more as notes rather than a chord. And that's really how harmonics are made up um, and how sounds are made up out of harmonics. Um, and so with this, of course, one can have just octaves. Um, if one wants a clarinet, one goes for the odd harmonics. Um, and so one might go for 
something like this. Um, a bit of uh, f uh, second harmonic. Um, and there we can hear a sort of a clarinet sound. But there we hear the separate actual notes. <laughs> 